Looks like Jack's workbench. Punishment. Melt that hen. Is this a dream? I see you. Where am I? Banished. <laughs> oh, well, welcome everybody. I believe you have figured out what we are doing here and where we are at. But we are here on No Man's Land. Yeah, I said No Man's Land by Alien Jim for Farming Simulator 22 here on PlayStation 5. And we are going to do a little mini-series of the Banishment Adventures that was created by our friend Jack Sarge Farming on YouTube. And also... Our friend Milk That Hen is also doing this. So go check out those two YouTube channels that are listed in the description of this series. Um, Jack Sarge, again, is the creator of this banishment adventure. And Milk That Hen just followed. And now I am following, and I'm not sure who else is doing it, but I hope y'all don't mind. I just couldn't pass this one up, and coming back here to No Man's Land, yeah, I know. It is a little bit, um, what do you want to say? A little bit, um... Sometimes the map uh, gets used a lot. How about that? We'll just say that. But let's check out what we got going on here. Well, we are kind of what I'm going to call Ranger Mike. We've been sent here to No Man's Land to look out what was going to be the start of a um national forest park if you will or agricultural park of some sort and you can see here we got an old ice cream stand man i sure hope that there's still some good treats in there maybe we'll get somebody to sell us some cool tractor ice cream from local farms contains milk from extraordinary happy cows well how about that maybe we can get some happy cows to help us get ice cream you know a little picnic and outdoor grill area well what else is going on well i see a old abandoned cabin down there possibly and some kind of rock formation there on the side of this hill. Well, I think it's time we go see what's going on. We better see what we're doing here. See what we got. I believe our vehicle is somewhere over the hill and through the woods. So let's see what we got here. What do we got? Whoa, it's red. It's a little truck. Look at that little thing. <laughs> well, I couldn't resist, everybody. I had to choose this little truck. Our friend Lenny, the farm guy, did a nice little update review on it. It's back in the mod hub, so I had to go check it out and install it. I actually had chosen two different, well, I should say three different trucks for this. And I'll show you those later, but I'm going to go with this one here. So before we hop in the truck, let's show you what we got going on. 
So if you want to see more details about the banishment adventures, check out the description of this video. But basically, you load into No Man's Land, and you can load into No Man's Land basically any way you wish. It's just that you need to set yourself up. And um, then after you have yourself set up, um, you lower your money to a hundred and around a hundred and fifty thousand. Well, I wasn't quite sure what the set myself up was all consisting of, so I had actually inconspicuously reached out to our friend Jack Sarge Farming and asked him if it was okay if I had a a farmhouse, an old shed, a couple of greenhouses, and something else from the uh, greenhouse category, as I had seen that both Jack Sarge and um, Milk That Hen had greenhouses, plus two greenhouses, I believe, plus maybe one other production, like uh, Open Air Garden. And... I didn't quite understand, I guess, how they started out. I did watch both of their videos, but, um, anyway, you, uh, you get that stuff with the money that you start with, but what you do get to give yourself at the start is a truck or a tractor, that's it. And then lower your money to 150,000. So, um, we're going to show you where we're at, what this is all about. Um, basically, this is being banished to the hills of no man's land, across the northern hills of no man's land. And we're starting in the far northeast corner of the hills, and the goal is to venture clear over there to the west side along the northern edge of No Man's Land. So let's just show you that. So here you will see, here's No Man's Land, and we're up here on 10. The object of this is to buy these properties across the top. We can't buy any other properties below it until we have all the properties across here purchased. I don't know if I'll take it that far, everybody, but we'll just see how it goes. Other things I can show you. We um, are at half time scale right now because I have a lot of setup involved in this. I changed things around. I didn't like how I set it up. I did this, that, and the other. But anyway, we're already in about, I believe, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the first day. Um, we're playing hard economy through this because that's what you're supposed to do. I got traffic on. It don't matter. There ain't no traffic but outside of the map. Uh, supposed to play seasons two days. Uh, I got fixed visual off. Uh, snow on. Uh, crop destruction off. Plowing on. Field stone. You can actually have that off. But I'm going to leave it on. Lime on, weeds off. And then I got dirt on slow, automatic engine start. Um, I will have that off, uh, stop and goes on, trailer fill limit off. Fuel usage, I'm just leaving that at normal. We can use it at low if we want. And then all the AI workers are off. You do not have any loan or debt, I should say. Also, in this, you can't have any loans. 
Um, and you can't lease anything if I remember correctly. So you have to buy everything that you want. And you can't use anything unrealistic, especially like unrealistic capacity. But we're going to hop in our little truck here and we're going to venture down and show you, show you our land. So I have set this up. I kind of marked out my boundary, if you will, just because it's what I wanted to do. I've got a one road all the way from the hilltop here going all the way ziggy zaggy down the hill there you can see to the store and uh, these people that moved in here originally to the banishment hills here on no man's land they were starting to develop this uh, agricultural mm, you know kind of national forest type thing so they had put up a fence but it's worn out over time it's got some pieces missing here there and the other and then we just got we got a little road going up there to our lookout tower we go down here You can see down here, we got another fence, okay. And if we glance this direction, on behind us there, here is the edge of the map. Right here, we run right into the edge of the map. Well, I was kind of hoping that maybe we could put in a road right here, but the thing that you got to realize is, is we're on console and so even though that is the map edge everybody just remember on some maps i have discovered that if we were to place something let's say if we were to place something right here where our truck is there's a portion of that area around it that we might not get to paint or do landscaping as it's considered kind of off limits even though it's in bounds if you will so what I've done here is if you go into and I just did this for my own sake if we go into the landscape screen okay you can see our fence here now you can see that uh, we're hovering over the fence right now but if we go left we have hit a dead end right here that is far left as I can go and you can see the truck is already further to the left than that well see if we grab a shed here let's just we're not gonna put anything down hopefully I don't accidentally hit it but let's just grab this shed here see that's all the further we can go but it overlaps with an object right there so yeah I think you kind of see what I mean it's only gonna be able to go so far over at least on console now I don't know what it's like on PC on PC you might actually be able to go clear over to this berm edge if you will this little berm dirt berm grass berm you might be able to go clear over the edge but on console you can't so that's why I put in that fence I wanted a division line so I've got an idea on how I want to play this so hopefully you all will enjoy what I'm doing now the creative thing I don't want you to see yet so we're gonna hug you along this road here so we're gonna go down into the farmyard and since I 
already placed a house in the shed. I deducted that price from my starting money. Um, like if you would watch Jack Sarge, he actually starts with a different kind of farmhouse and then um, moves into his uh, permanent one, if you will. But I don't want to give it away, so you need to go check out Jack Sarge and our friend Milk That Hen, as they both have different starts to this adventure. So, here we are. Just got a little old shed with a couple of, couple of shelves to store items on, if I wish. And I had to put this in here. There was a reason I put this in here, and it didn't even dawn on me till I made my introduction to this series. And I've really never done too many introductions instead of my own little intro video. So I hope you enjoy the introduction to this series. But I had to put this in because I really wanted this to kind of feel like a little old shed with a little workbench in it. But then when I started to create my intro and trying to come up with the way I wanted to create it, I'm like, perfect. I could stand in front of this and in my dream, I can say, it looks like Jack's workbench. Well, our friend Jack Sarge, everybody, is a great, great friend of mine and several others in the FS community. But Jack Sarge Farming also has a channel called Jack Sarge Painting. I need to go, go check out his second channel as he does these little paintings of these old, like, oh, what do you want to say, like, Civil War era, um, or military-oriented little old figurines. I don't know how else to describe them because I'm not much of a history buff. But, yeah, you need to go check out our friend Jack Sarge painting as well. Well, we got our, our wood for a fireplace there. Well, we got this dirty old rotten... cabin in here if you will yep she's mighty fine but see we can get down on the old couch and we can watch milk that hen <laughs> in the old banishment adventures as well well there you can see the other little creative part to this I got up there if I would have only known what I know now I would have done what you're about to see and created it a little different I found a mod in the mod hub that uh, would have made creating this a whole lot easier but here we go let's pan out for you so our friend Jack Sarge has something pretty creative on his start to this series. And I'm like, how did he build that? I got up here to this land and I'm like, I don't see no cave. So I created my very first ever cave on console. <laughs> but we're not going in my cave. But there's my cave. You'll, you'll see more of the cave later. But there's a reason for building that cave. And you'll all see that soon enough. But this is just my own little uh, start to this. As you can see, here's the fence again going down around the property. And I kind of put this fence in. For a number of reasons but it goes all the way around our property here you can see now I believe I can actually go on the other side of the fence as well but I got that property line up just for placement reasons kind of 
Um, not that I'll probably go buy them all the time because I could sell off the fence, but yeah. Well, you see what this little truck does. 23 miles an hour consistently up a steep hill. Well, it's about time, everybody, that we roll on down the hill here to the store and uh, visit Alien Jim's store and get some things to move forward with. We got $136,000. We got to figure out what we're going to do. We got trees we can harvest. We got grass we can harvest. But the key thing about this series is, is we cannot cut grass. Well, I should say we can cut grass, but we can't produce silage to sell silage. We can only produce silage to feed cows or livestock or productions other productions but we cannot take our silage and sell it at another sell point for money well we're gonna go down here I'm gonna get things a little sorted everybody and I hope you stick around for more of this short little intro to my start of this adventure so I'm going to go down here, spend some money, and we'll see you back up at the farm. Well, welcome back, everybody. Well, you can see money is down to $31,845. Just got a few pieces of equipment and added some things to the farm here. But uh, we'll go show you. Um, and... Uh, see what else maybe we can get done before we call this uh, episode so i hope you have enjoyed what you have seen so far and enjoyed especially my little intro to this series i usually don't make those i usually just have my standardized intro but let's go outside well first things first you can see we got a little water fountain here and we got a tanker trailer to haul things. Uh, we got a bag lifter, a weight. We got a flower greenhouse, a mushroom greenhouse, and a little grape and olive, um, or not grape, an olive uh, little garden there. If we get over to um, here, you will see we've got a windrower back there. And then look at this beautiful machine. We got a Farmall 1206 diesel turbo. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah. We just got ourselves a little leveling blade to cut stumps. So let's hop in our tractor. Listen to that sound. Yeah, sound might not be real loud for you all, but then we have cleared out some trees, and we also have started to do some mowing. So we got a little bit of mowing done. We have another production that we're going to go show you here. But let's uh, just clean up a couple of these stumps. And um, I'm going to try and we're going to do some hay baling. This is going to be Rusty's Hay and <laughs> Hay Company Farm. How about that? No. We'll just see what what or how much we do with hay crop. But we're going to do some haying. Haven't made bales for quite a while. Let's go back around here. We got a little whoop-de-woo around our cabin. And we got ourselves a sell-everything point right there. 
Our ground leveling didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. Alright, we need to get rid of our blade here and grab our bag lifter. So let's just put the old blade over here by the tree. We don't need it right now. Let's get rid of that. We better get our weight on our... Tractor. Let's get the bag lifter. And then we'll go show you what we have got. Going on. We gotta grab... Let's grab a couple of logs. Well, let's just grab a log. How about that? We'll just grab one log and we'll go up there. Well, let's go see our other new production for what I wanted to do here. And why we place the cave. Come on, you old farm all. Climb that hill. Come on. We had a tractor suggestion from my friend Looney the Farm guy. So we do got this 1206. It's only got 95 horsepower. But I am going to get the 300 horsepower for it. But I need $100,000 first. It's an older tractor. And we're going to have 300 horsepower. Look at there. We got ourselves a little coal mining operation right here. Right next to our beautiful cave. My first ever cave I've built on console. I just thought that was a perfect fit right next to our cave. It was doing a little coal mining. So, let's go ahead and deposit that log in there. Uh, we'll check that out. Let's check this thing out. So you can see we got some flowers already. 4,000 liters of water in there and about 1,000 liters of flower, flowers. And then just about the same for mushrooms. And we got some grapes that are... Um, developing we could get some uh seeds and fertilizer or seeds and manure and uh get those um a little bit more healthier and faster in production so um right now we've got just about sixteen thousand liters of wood in here that are going to produce to packets of charcoal and then we'll sell those for a little bit of money but we've got some other trees that we got cut down we don't have a lot of trees on our land here but we do got mm, a decent amount i've cut out a decent amount already just down in that hill where i cut the grass but the day is gonna be getting dark here but we're going to go ahead and I need to uh, sell some of these here logs. So we're going to go pile them up. Now, we could load them on my truck. That's what I was doing with all the wood that went up to the uh, charcoal factory. is I loaded them in the truck. I love that little truck. Oh my goodness. It was a nice update to that truck. Besides the fact that it is another one of my modders that I liked um, back in FS19 for some kinds of mods that were available. Let's go ahead just set those right there. 
Let's get some more. We could put them on the truck, but then we're just loading, unloading, loading, unloading. We're just going to try and just make us a quick little few bucks here. Now, we also need to get rid of these bushes. We need to plow in our land, and uh, we need to get some fields established. There's plenty of work that can be done here. These are only about four meter logs. Because I always cut to the length of the trailer I got unless I got a harvester. So they're never really exact. Oops. Let's see if we can get all those. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got the big old stick. Now we got the big old piece. Let's go put these over there. Yeah. I, whoa. <laughs> so we just couldn't. Um, yeah. We just couldn't go without not giving this a little run for its money. You know. I came across our friend Jack Sarge, Jack Sarge's painting channel, not long ago, uh, just on a random YouTube search, and uh, I just really, I don't know, his voice is just so th soothing, just kind of like our friend Milk That Hens, and so, yeah, I know, sounds weird, huh, but anyway... I, I just couldn't help but not give this a go since our friend Jack Sarge came up with this little banishment adventure series. So I don't know how far I'll take it, everybody. I'm just giving it a go. We might only see if we can get one more piece of land bought. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So no promises on how long it will venture to be but I'm gonna give it a run for my money I got some other pieces of equipment that I have in mind that I want to get purchased here actually a couple of the pieces of equipment is what I wanted to start with but then I thought to myself I'm gonna be set back in money if I do that so then I had to reorganize I did a lot of setup in here. As you can see, we're already in at 5.30 in the late afternoon of the first day. <laughs> so I don't got a lot of work done. More was done in trying to figure out how I wanted to set this up. Because I really didn't want to... really just didn't want to be, you know... Um, like doing the same thing that milk that hen or jack sarge was doing let's sell this pile and see what we get hopefully we get just a few dollars here oh we're back up to thirty-five thousand. sweet we got three thousand six hundred and forty seven dollars for that now if we would have went down to the store Okay, so if we would have went down to the store, the farm shop is paying a little bit more money. Only like 20 some dollars, $21 more. So just not really worth all the time. Besides this little tractor, when you set the cruise, it only goes 20 mile an hour. Excuse me there, as I had a hiccup. Well, anyway, everybody, the day is becoming short here. I'm going to try and uh, get a little bit more done. Maybe come back with you before we conclude this episode. I'm going to do a little off-camera play, like jump cut play, if you will. Finish getting this mode and uh, get us... Uh, uh teddy and a baler which we might just do now
Yeah, I think let's go. We're going to maybe um, get this mode. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this mode, and um, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to jump to, uh, after I get a few more trees cut, um, we're going to jump to the next day, everybody. See if maybe we can get lucky with the baler or uh, Teddy in the store and the used sales and uh, purchase one from there. Because right now in used sales, there isn't much available. Here is used sales. A log trailer, a tanker, a header, a... Uh, Wind rower and a bigger tractor, way too expensive. So, yeah, we we got some work to do. So, I'm gonna jump cut here, everybody, and we'll be back with you. Well, welcome back, everybody. We are just here doing some morning gardening and loading up our flowers that we got available to sell so we're going to go ahead and just sell these we probably ain't going to make a lot of money for this well you we ain't going to make a lot of money for anything in hard economy so gee thanks jack money's gonna come not as easy but this is still much different than anything I've ever done or created so I think it's still gonna be fun so thanks again to our friend Jack Sarge farming for creating this uh, quite interesting little series here on no man's land so let's hop in our truck Let's strap these in and let's go over to our sell everything point here. Well, we should check and see where they're selling the best. It might be worth the ride. Flowers. There they are. So, 1,000. Ooh, they're selling better at the sell everything container. 1,167, only 1,120 at the shop. Sweet, okay, we'll take this short ride. That'll save on gas, too. I know we could have just carried them over here, but I don't know. I just wanted to sell them like this. Ooh, that's kind of nice money. $5,838. Oh, we're rich. All right. Now, we're going to go get the mushrooms quick. We're going to sell those. Man, this truck. I just love this truck, everybody. <laughs> it really gets up and goes. All right, let's load up these mushrooms. Can we lift these, too? I don't got liftable pallets on, but these... Okay, so now these are heavier in mass. There's 700. The flowers are only 150 kg, so we're going to have to get the tractor. Whoa, let's not run into our tanker. I didn't turn soon enough. We'll have to put our sides back up on our truck here. Let's just park it in the grass here out of the way. That'll work. Oh, I forgot. Our tractor's at the store. <laughs> We're going to have to go down to the store because I was going to buy um, a couple of things. Man, my, my memory is slipping, everybody. Well, let's get down to the store we'll see you there well here we are at the store we're gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a teddy and a baler let's see what we can get from this nice kind lady here ooh nothing in you sales yet well we need a teddy to start with. 
So let's at least get that. Now, because of where we're at, I think it's going to be a little difficult just to use this because I don't think it's going to... It's wide, but I just don't know how it's going to reflect when it comes to following the the uh, levelness of the ground. If it's going to miss spots or what it's going to do. Because you're on different kinds of angles and hills. So I think I'm going to pass on this one, actually. It's cheap, but I'm going to pass on it. And... Um, we got a wind rower, so I think I'm going to actually get this one here. I'm going to get this little thing. Wheel setup. Wheels with tires. We don't necessarily need... Well, we could get that. That's still not very... Well, no, let's not. Covers. Man, we don't need that either, really. Sticker. Where's the sticker? Oh, we can put the sticker on there. It's not costing us anything. Design color. What do we got here? Oh, that's just... Wow, well, we don't need to do that. Let's buy this for 2500 All right, well, we can only haul one thing at a time, so we won't worry about the baler yet. Let's go ahead and get this teddy up to the farm here. And uh, that way we can go sell some mushrooms and uh, then... Uh, see what money we have and I bet that folds out like so yeah that folds out like so It'd give you a little bit more width then okay well we're gonna get on up to the farm here buddy we'll see you there welcome back everybody well we're back here at the farm let's go ahead and uh, sell some mushrooms see what money we can get from them things see if it'll let me grab two of these even though they're spread apart okay it's not gonna quite let me so let's just move them right over there next to each other there we go two is about the limit here without a weight we got our teddy on the back end i didn't put the weight on there but let's go see what we can get for Two pallets of mushrooms. Uh, what? We can't sell mushrooms here? Uh oh. We might have to look at something. I wasn't aware we couldn't sell mushrooms here, everybody. Yeah, we can't sell mushrooms there. Well, you know what? I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to take a long shot here, everybody, to save us a little bit of a trip. And we are going to consider... Putting in another sell point here to our property. Where do I want to put it though? Mm, let's go production sell points. I think it's cheap. We'll just we'll just see. I, I don't know if it'll take anything or not, but it's. It's worth a shot. Let's see. We've got... What other cell points do we got here? 
We got no man's land. Selling point production. Ooh, that's five thousand dollars. And this one is going to take I don't see mushrooms on there yet. Oh yeah, there's mushrooms on that one. How about nope, not that one. Cell point grains, cell point bales, restaurants. Grain dryer, forage stealer. Where's the one I was thinking about here? I'm going to take a long shot here. This one's only 500 to place. So I'm going to take a long shot and just see. If we can sell $630 or so there. How about if we put it on this more money on that side? We're just going to put it there. Call that good. Oh, man, that really sunk in my road there. Can I improve that any? Man, I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like about this either. The challenge of not doing beautiful landscaping. Minimizing your landscaping. Okay, well, hopefully that helped a little bit. Let's see if we can sell them there. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but hey, we got another sell point. Okay, no mushrooms there either. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to have to load these up on the truck, everybody, and then go sell these. So we'll be right back with you. Well, welcome back, everybody. We're loaded and on our way down here to the store to sell these mushrooms. Let's see what we get. And I think we'll probably... Um, return back to the farm and you will see on um, what was all going to happen in the next episode when, once we you know return back to the farm so we'll probably end it here as we see what we bring in from our first sale of mushrooms hopefully this is where we sell them I haven't been on this map forever Ooh, that's nice money that's seven thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars. Man, the mushrooms aren't too bad of money, really. When you're talking about hard economy. Man, almost better to have two mushroom huts instead of just one. Well, we're gonna return back to the farm, everybody. We're gonna get our haying work done. You'll see that in the next episode, but uh, if you have liked my start to the Banishment Adventures here on No Man's Land, please drop me a tasty treat on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people as delicious donuts. Don't forget to leave us comments in the comment section, and please share the videos and the live streams from the channel by sharing... 
the um, link to this video but we will see you all in the next episode and hope you all have a good one see you on the flip side everybody PlayStation.